Hello everyone, welcome back to Touch Slayer Twice. I'm Joshua and I'm here today to do an in-depth sniff review of the Kringle Candle Company Kringle Spice Collection Time Candle. This is their 14 ounce three wick candle here in their, I believe, new uh, or new-ish proprietary soy blend. Um, as many folks have been saying, um, you know, some people were not fans of Kringle, their original sort of paraffin, old school Yankee style um, wax formulation. I had never purchased until I purchased this and some of their daylights, which I reviewed a while back uh, in another video. Uh, I never purchased, so I don't, I'm not familiar with their, their older formulation, though I suppose it's very similar to sort of the traditional Yankee candle, which sometimes soots and doesn't always great, get a great pool. Sometimes it does, but it's just more of a dirty burning wax. I will get into the performance later on in this review, but I want to dig into the scent primarily, first of all. And so this is the first ever, actually, Kringle candle that I have burned, um, aside from, again, checking out those daylights, which are just the little and kind of uh, tea lights on steroids kind of thing. Um, and so I was really intrigued with this collection. So um, Kringle released this, I'm not sure when, sometime in the past year, I suppose. And it was a line in this vessel style of theirs, which is, I mean, let's be honest here, this is reminiscent of or derivative of the Bath & Body Works classic 14.5 ounce through candle. I mean, it looks nearly identical. It's 14 versus 14 and a half ounces, but you can see, you can confuse this for a Bath & Body Works candle and even the lid, um, really pretty. It's sort of that hammered um, chrome silver lid with that uh, nice rubber seal there. So this is very much like a Bath & Body Works candle in that sense, but I will say the performance is a little different because it is a proprietary and different, though quite similar, wax formulation. But this collection, Kringle Spice Collection, came out uh, and there were eight fragrances in it. It looks like some of them are sold out, but the candles in this are super interesting to me. Uh, so first I'll say basil, ginger root, thyme, cayenne, oregano, bay leaf, rosemary, and anise, kind of the star anise. Uh, why I'm intrigued is I really appreciate, uh, first of all, authentic blends that actually smell like what you, what the name says or what you're hoping that you smell, uh, even though they're synthetic. Uh, and I pr really enjoy seeing sort of close to single scents. Now granted, I am, you know, uh, a, a fragrance head where I want top, middle, bottom notes. I want a scent story. I want, you know, a really classically built scent that has accords and very specific um, notes in it and authentic and, and authentic, not inauthentic notes. But at the same time, I think it's very interesting to see single or nearly single notes expressed in wax if it can be something that is botanical or spices like this. So to say, you know, what does, we, there are a million candles that have ginger in it. Um, but if it's supposed to be pure ginger root, what does that smell like in home fragrance or any of these, rosemary, bay leaf, oregano? Sure, you might see a basil candle sometimes, or you see ginger, you know, orange ginger, aromatherapy, or things like that. Rosemary is often in many autumnal scents, but you don't get just straight up rosemary. So that's kind of interesting to me. I only picked up this one because I thought this was kind of almost the, one of the most unique, because time is, you don't even see that very often in candle form, um, home fragrance form. There was a honeydew in time that was a failed test scent back in 2012 from Slack & Co, Bath & Body Works. That was incredible, and it was truly time with a soft, sweet honeydew melon. Really, really incredible with maybe a little bit of lemon or something in there. Um, but, so I wanted to give this a shot, see what it was like. I, I cook a ton. I cook with all of these, these herbs and spices and, and plants, and so I just kind of wanted to see what it was like. And so, speaking of time, let's talk about what time is. I mean, not many people could say, I know exactly what time smells like and what the history of it is and, and what it's used for, though we know it's in many, many things as an ingredient, right? So first, I will talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what is time? What is it used for? Um, I actually will, I have some dried, not fresh, but some dried thyme here um, that I sort of reconstituted in some water here to try to get a sniff, though it is not fresh thyme, which this is probably more of a fresh thyme than dried thyme, and there is a difference in, in what something smells like once it is, is dried. And um, we'll talk through the notes that they say are in here, and I will do sort of the true sniff to say what I think about it and talk about the performance as well. Um, so thyme is actually a low-growing perennial evergreen, um, kind of, you know, that, that bushy, straggly, travels on the ground um, kind of plant. Uh, they say in sort of, you know, historically in medieval times or, you know, in, in the old, ye olden days, uh, it really related to strength, spirit, courage, 
Um, they would say someone smelled like time as a compliment to them. Um, you know, they say that medieval, medieval ladies would give their um, knights a sprig of that herb um, as they would go off to battle, um, truly instill those values of, of uh, strength, spirit, and courage into them. It was also used very much so uh, to kind of, kind of fumigate homes or even clean homes um, because it really has uh, strong antiseptic, antibacterial cleansing qualities to it. Um, and the compound that is derived from thyme for thyme essential oil, uh, thymol, T-H-Y-M-O-L, um, is really one of the strongest antiseptics known, at least in sort of the, the natural um, chemical, because still everything is a chemical compound, right? Um, in a natural form. Um, and interestingly, uh, thymol has been used in drugstore products and brands for years and generations. Gargles, mouthwashes, cough drops, vapor, vapor chest rubs. Um, some of the best known products that contain thymol are Listerine mouthwash, Vicks Vapor Rub. I'm again thinking of those antimicrobial cleansing, mentholated feeling uh, properties that thymol essential oil brings from the thyme plant. Um, and so that's something to know, you know, doing my research, going into the sniff this, what to potentially expect. Um, when you think of thyme as, you know, the leaf, whether fresh or dried for cooking, uh, it's known to be herbaceous, strong, penetrating, kind of therapeutic, uh, sweet, peppery, a little minty, a little lemony. Comparing to oregano, which people sometimes, you know, kind of conflate the two, oregano is much more pungent and an earthy, darker flavor uh, versus the peppery, minty, lemony, herbaceous, green, green, green. Sometimes they say, if you think of uh, green as a scent, it is thyme, which is kind of an interesting way to think about it. They describe it as a savory scent, pungent and peppery and spicy. That aligns with with what I what I found as well. Um, and then for top, middle, bottom, it's a little bit light on details here. Top note, thyme, shocker. Mid, pepper and sharp spice. Not a fan of that. Tell me what you mean by spice. This entire collection of spice, give me details or don't tell me what's in there. Uh, and base is herbaceous. Uh, herbaceous is not a bait is not a base. It's not like a fragrance note, really. It's a fragrance family, perhaps. I suppose you could say that herbaceous is an accord, but again, that kind of feels like a little bit of marketing uh, where there's, if there's just time in here, that's okay. Call it what it is and say that. If there is more, I wanna know what you mean by saying spices and herbs, that's not helpful. So either put details in there or don't include top, middle and base notes is my opinion on that. Anyway, so sniffing this, it is very, I, I would say it does lean to kind of the menthol invigorating, um, strong, kind of therapeutic aromatherapy, um, medicinal angle for sure. So much so that I thought, you know, is there eucalyptus in here? Is there something else? Is there a straight up camphor or menthol in here? No, there's thymol in here, which who knew? I wasn't aware that thymol really is, it's, it's in that kind of menthol family of scents. Certainly because of the cooling, you can think mint. Um, there's a brightness, which you could think lemony. But let's not be confused. It doesn't smell like there's lemon peel, zest, juice in this. It's more so that thyme itself has a bit of a lemony edge to it. So just don't don't get those two mixed up. Peppery, hmm. more intense. I it really, in many ways, it, on first sniff, and even when I was burning this, um, I, I it really was coming off as medicinal, which I don't mind. But I think a lot of people, you know, there are people who say that twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works is too pepperminty and they only burn it to clear their sinuses and that it's too medicinal. Okay, well, I, I don't agree with that, but I certainly would say like, then this would not be the candle for them because this is truly more medicinal. They could have called this an aromatherapy collection. Um, when we think of all the people who are into essential oils these days, um, this smells more so like if you were diffusing an essential oil versus, you know, just a home fragrance, candle that has this in it that, ha that has this scent to it like this is smells more like you're trying to diffuse it almost for the potential um you know therapeutic or healing properties um and i don't know if the other candles in this collection are that extreme toward being like the um therapeutic scent or just like the cooking scent does this basil just smell like fresh basil from your garden i would assume probably because that's what they seem to be going for is they're not calling this an aromatherapy collection or you know something with sort of those healing or therapeutic at least properties, you know? 
but it's it's nice. It does it does smell. It smells like thyme as as it should. Um, but again, I was a bit surprised by how intensely. Again, I'm gonna use the word menthol, though it's thymol. How you know, thymolic is that is that the word? Um, it really is uh, in that sense of while it does smell like a fresh bundle of thyme, you know, rubbing it together, uh, you're getting it really smells more like the th the thymol oil that's within the leaves, which is why you use it. Uh, why you know for the that oil that's the flavor, the scent. Um, the taste for your cooking, but you're not really necessarily getting, in my mind, the full plant where the little bit of woodiness um, in the stem, um, the green, just like the leaf has, a, you know, an additional layer of flavor to it beyond just the specific thymol oil that's in the leaf, right? So the more of that, like the green thing, this leans heavily more towards the thymol oil itself as opposed to the whole plant. Uh, an example of that is like when you think of petty grain, um, which is uh, taken from the bitter orange tree. It's not a bitter orange scent uh, because your bitter orange is taken from, you know, your bitter orange oils are from the fruit itself, uh, whereas the petty grain is from the twigs and leaves of the bitter orange tree. It's gonna be reminiscent of, but different. Same thing here. So it doesn't, to me, it doesn't have sort of the green leaves and, you know, kind of twig <laughs> essence that, that time has. It really is more extracting the primary uh, essential oil that's used, the thymol, for that really intense, pungent, peppery, a little bit minty, a little bit lemony, menthol style of scent is what is used here. Really great performance. I will say, right off the bat, um, this had a very clean burn. It was an obviously different um, type of burn than you see in, say, Homeworks, or than you see in you know, the other candle companies I've been reviewing, um, not necessarily better, TBD, but different, where it was a healthy pool, it wasn't too, too deep, where it was wickedly hot and, you know, burning all over the place and, and, and dancing flames and, you know, licking all over the place. Uh, it was a steady, consistent, even uh, pool. It was a healthy depth. Um, and it, there was an interesting sort of like, steadiness or consistency to the flame, uh, I guess more so based on the, however the wicks balance with um, the, the wax blend, that, I, that did impress me and it seemed very clean. And even, um, you know, soy sometimes can be very messy of a burn. It's a soft, softer wax and it can really have a lot of um, residue, which is fine if it's a cleaner burn, it just looks a little bit more ugly. It was clean, tiny bit of residue, not much. And even the, the wicks, like, Potentially, I would trim that just a tiny bit before I relight it, um, but it didn't get the big mushroom tops, even though it was a healthy burn. Um, that Bath and Butterworks always gets those big, you know, popums that want to go across the room, um, and even the the wicks, like they're not so fragile. Sometimes home works, you tap them, they're gonna snap. I'm I'm tapping these, I'm testing them. They have a little bit of give to them, which again speaks to a, a good quality and and well chosen um, wick. So I am impressed so far with that performance. So end of day. Fan of the performance. The scent, I appreciate it for what it is. Um, I wish I knew more when they say pepper, sharp spice, herbaceous. I feel like they're just describing time itself. If this is just time, uh, you know, whether it's art likely artificial, I'm assuming, though maybe maybe there's some natural essential oils, though it doesn't say, so I'm assuming it's probably synthetic um, for consistency and, and lack of volatility if it were if it were just an organic. Uh, you know, thigh mall. But so I appreciate the, the authenticity of it, uh, the art direction. I think it all works. It's modern, it's clean. It, it is very clear with what it is. Um, and I appreciate the scent. I just wish there was a little bit more of, not even conceptual, but more of, sure, I want that thigh mall in there. I want that sort of mentholated, bright, intense, peppery, but I also want some of the green. I want a little bit of the wood. I want a little bit more of the full, if I had a bunch of time. And this doesn't feel like a bunch of time. It feels like the oil left on your fingers from the time, but you know, you don't add drops of thymol when you're cooking, you add the, the actual leaves. So, so there's a little bit more that could be within this. So that's my only um, critique on, on it. But otherwise, it does smell like thyme. So uh, that is my review on Kringle Spice Thyme. If you have had any of the other ones, let me know. And uh, what else I should check out with Kringle Candle if I do end up putting an order in the next time they have a sale. But until next time, take care.